And when that happens, the, the area under the curve, which is the impulse, the total amount of energy that's delivered up your body to your joints, increases by about threefold. Could taking walks expose you to health hazards? While walking is a highly praised activity that is recommended for healthy living, you could be doing it at the wrong time and in the wrong way and putting your health in danger. In this video, we will be sharing the worst times to go for walks, as well as five mistakes that a lot of people make that you want to avoid at all costs. There are three worst times in the day to go for a walk. The third worst time is when the sun is down. Keep in mind that before sunrise and after sunset, the pollution levels in the air are usually a lot higher. Now, most health enthusiasts have created a routine of walking and running as early as 4.30 in the morning. However, based on science, it has been proven that the air during that time of the day is more dangerous than at any other given time. This is a result of the lack of wind and air pressure, which causes the pollutants to mostly remain at the ground level, making it very dangerous for health. Doing this consistently can lead to several health disasters like lung disorders and other breathing problems. Even more, it could lead to psychiatric problems. If you must take walks in the morning, the ideal time would be between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. The second worst time to go for a walk would be when the sun is at its peak. Between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., it is in your best interest to avoid any outdoor activities, considering that the heat can be very strong at these times. It can cause heat strokes and rapid fatigue, but that's not all. It can also cause skin disorders. Excessive sweats, low energy, and dizziness are also almost inevitable. Overall, the temperatures around these times are usually very high, so failure to avoid unnecessary outdoor activities could lead to extreme repercussions. Although taking walks after lunch is recommendable, brisk walking at these times will only do more harm to your health. If you must, the best time would be between 4 p.m. till sunset. During this time, your body can exert more and barely feel like it, making it perfect for running or walking. At these times, the muscles are more flexible and warm, and even more, there are lower chances of getting injured. It has been seen that when most people return home after work in the evening, they tend to feel very tired. Now, if this same person goes out for a walk before sunset, they would most likely have more energy feeling a lot different from how they felt when they returned home from work. And number one is a time that must be avoided at all costs, when there is heavy traffic. This time period is usually between sunset and 10 p.m. While there are already very obvious concerns about walking at night, it is important to know that this traffic can lead to accidents which could lead to severe injuries, or even worse, loss of life. Even if you can avoid an accident, walking and or running in these poorly lit areas are also very dangerous and can be harmful to your eyesight. Then there is the fact that during these times, the sun is no longer up, this means you would putting yourself at the risk of getting breathing issues due to the pollutants at ground level. So the next time you want to go for a walk, take note of these very bad times that must be avoided. Walks, however, should not be neglected. Rather, they should be done at the right hours of the day with a lot of enthusiasm and positivity so you can enjoy the benefits they offer. In fact, make sure to cover at least 8,000 steps every day. Now that you know the worst times to go out for a walk, you must know the top five mistakes most people make while walking and how they can be corrected. As we mentioned earlier, the human body was designed to walk. These walks are very important as they have several solutions to different problems, from diabetes to heart issues, not to mention the powerful psychological benefits. However, many people make many mistakes while walking and cannot enjoy the benefits it offers. Starting at number five, walking in the wrong place. These walks can be done right there in your house, in your garden if you own one, or find some open space. This open space could be on the riverside, on the beach, or even in a forest. The important thing is that whatever location you choose must be safe. The air in this area must be fresh, meaning it must be pollutant-free. However, People make the mistake of walking on the side of highways and busy streets. People who do this are prone to more harm than the benefits they stand to gain from walking. The fourth mistake on our list is one many people make, what to do before and after walking. 
Most people have a habit of drinking water and immediately start walking. This puts more stress on your system. If you are going out for a walk, drinking water at least 20 minutes before you start is important. Your body needs enough time to rest and recover after taking water. This could be for about 15 minutes. During this time, you can engage in some relaxing stretches before you head out for your walk. Some people even drink too much water while walking to make sure they stay hydrated. However, this could cause more harm than good to your system. It could even go as far as disturbing your water salt balance in the body. At number three is a mistake many people still make today, wearing the wrong outfits. The type of clothes and shoes you wear for a walk is very important. It is important to make sure that they aren't uncomfortable. While so many shoes are labeled walking shoes, not all are great for walking. And so, you have many people who wear heavy shoes during their walks simply because they are tagged walking shoes. Keep in mind that walking shoes must be lightly weighted, providing the right amount of support and cushioning. This means if your walking shoes have soles that can't bend or twist, then they aren't good for fitness walking shoes. Your walking shoes must be flexible so they are easy on your feet as they roll through those steps. And on the other hand, many people make the mistake of wearing tight clothes for walks or clothes that simply make them feel too sweaty. This needs to be corrected. The best and most appropriate clothes for walks are cotton sportswear or simple cotton clothes. These clothes will leave you feeling light and comfortable during your walks. Make sure that whatever clothes you pick allow you to move freely. Another mistake many people make while walking is not knowing how to walk. You see many people walking with incorrect posture. At the end of the day, this would lead to various problems, such as ankle, back, and knee pain. When you are out for a walk, walk like royalty. Your spine must be pulled up straight and your chin slightly raised. People who walk with their heads down and a slouched posture don't allow fuller breathing. This posture simply restricts the free flow of air in the lungs. However, walking with your head up allows for a smooth inflow and outflow of breath. You may want to roll your shoulders back and push your chest out when walking. This gives a firmness to your posture and stops you from slouching or pushing your hips to the front. And this is something many people usually do while walking. Another mistake people make while walking is clenching their fists. It is important to know that closed fists cause unnecessary nerve tension and can stiffen your hands while walking. Therefore, be sure to leave your palms open the next time you go for a walk. On the other hand, also note that violent hand movements may also put unnecessary jerks on the shoulder joints, leading to shoulder pains in the long run. So when on a walk, be sure to keep those hand movements gentle and active yet moderate. Now, if you are looking to shed some excess weight, those active hand movements can be very helpful in burning calories. People also make the mistake of taking longer strides to cover more areas in a shorter time. Hence, you end up striking hard with the feet you put forward and hurting your shin. Even worse, you don't end up walking any faster when you do this. Instead, this unnecessary pressure could end up affecting the knees and ankles. However, if you want to walk faster, a better way would be to take shorter, quicker steps. And to close off this list, at number one, we have the huge mistake many people make. Wrong walking pace. Many people today are unaware of the damage the wrong walking pace can cause to their bodies. First of all, you must know that you should never go brisk walking after eating. This can be very dangerous to your digestive system. After any meal, your digestive system requires more supply of blood and oxygen. However, during brisk walking, your oxygen supply is mostly used to give energy to the muscles and your entire system, hence leaving little to none for your digestive system to do its work. Instead, your best bet is to stroll after meals, while brisk walking should be done before meals, making the body ready for assimilation. Remember that your walking pace should be based on the objective behind walking. If you want to shed excess weight, you may want to walk fast before meals to help burn calories. Contrarily, you should go at a moderate pace. However, if you aim to move the body, enhance metabolism, and improve your cardiac health, walk at a pace where you almost feel out of breath. This helps to improve not only the heart, but also your lungs. That said, we have come to the end of this video. Be sure to take walks.
However, ensure they are done at the right time and in the right way. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share it with your loved ones. Here is another amazing video that you are going to enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell notification so you never have to miss another upload.